Hello students, welcome to the session. Uh, we are in the fourth year BNYS uh, yoga therapy subject. We were discussing about the integrated approach of yogic therapy. The out of basic principles of yogic therapy in the last class, we were discussing about the Panchakosha theory and integrated approach of yoga therapy, where we discussed in the last class about Adi Jeho Vyadi. One is a basic, another one is common type. Uh, we were uh, today we are just highlighting about the uh, Anadi Jeho Vyadi. It is not caused by the Adi. Last class we discussed how Adi leads to Vyadi uh, from Manomaya Kosha. It disturbs the flow of prana, there is agitation of nadi, episode flow of prana and then there is a ajiranatva, atijiranatva, kujiranatva. That is under digestion, over digestion and wrong digestion. So that leads to Vyadi. So in that caused by the Vyadi, Adi Jaha, uh, two types, one is a birth disease, that is congenital disease, Sara type. And then Samanya type, it is uh, ordinary type. When we interact with the world, whatever we get, we get the disease like psychosomatic ailments. But Anadi Javyadi, which is not caused by the Adi, especially the infections, injuries, the toxins, the causes are not inside the body, causes are outside the body. That is, uh, maybe in the form of, I told now, infections. Even remedy is also outside, in the form of medicines, surgery, and repetition of mantras. And uh, even uh, today we also talk about the uh, why there is an anajahabhyali. You can think of even yogic role is there here. Because germs may be the cause of the disease. But the famous person who invented uh, uh, the germ theory, the Louis Pasteur, he is also explained that it is germs are the primary cause of the disease. Provided body gives it, provides, if body provides suitable condition. So if there is a lot of toxins, inside the body by our various ways, then germs are the primary cause of the disease. Then in naturopathic principles, say germs are the secondary cause of the disease because there is a, a toxic there. So there is a medium environment for the infections to grow and that's why there is a uh, grow of, uh, growth of the diseases. So even yoga also says anadi jayadi, though the causes are outside, even body is also responsible for that. Or if our immune system is wrong, is low, environmental tolerance is disturbed, so, today we are in the mid of this pandemic, Corona. So, all will not get infection. Maybe we are going to shops, we are going to market, we are going to uh, different, different places. Everywhere it is difficult. 100% we cannot maintain the strict to this one. We wear the mask, we take care of it. But still, uh, if our system is very strong, so that's what the Anadija Vyadi also, Yoga says, for example, when you are stressed up, you all experienced being a student, when you stress, when you get exam examination sore throat, examination diarrhea, why this is infection? Very common in examination because our immune system will be lowered, suppressed by the tensions, suppressed by the anxieties. So yoga is a very good remedy even for anadi yogyadi by releasing our stresses. So that's why here also we have to talk about it. This is all we have discussed uh, in our last class. See what happened, uh, uh, the adi yogyadi and anadi yogyadi. So this is all yoga vasista explanation about stress. What is the explanation they got Bhagavad Gita? You are all aware about this. Dhyayate Vishen Pumsa Sangaste Shupajayate Sangaste Sanjayate Kama Kama Krodha Vijayate Dhyayate Vishen Pumsa How the stress comes? How Adi comes according to Bhagavad Gita? Krishna says to Arjuna very beautifully. See repeated thinking of an object. Dhyayate Vishen Pumsa Sangaste Shupajayate That leads to the desire. Desire. Sangaste Sanjayate Kamaha. So, when this desire leads to infatuation, lust. Kama Krodha Vijayate. So, the lust will lead to infatuation, leads to Krodha, anger. See, for example, we have uh, how we get an attachment? Repeated thinking. Repeated thinking. So, that attachment leads to desire, lot of desire, lot of desire. That leads to lust. There is no Prema, Kama, there is an expectation there. And that if someone is disturbed, Krodod Bhoti Sammohat, Kama Kroda Vijayate, that Kama leads to Kroda. Krodod Bhoti Sammohat. When Kroda comes, disturbed awareness. We don't know who are we. We forget our name, we forget our relatives, we forget our Krodod Bhoti Sammoha. Sammoha Astra, you might have heard in Arjuna and uh, in Ramayana and Mahabharata. Sammoha Astra means when they leave that arrow, we forget everything. Sammoha, Krodhodhbhoti, Sammoha. 
Samoha Smriti Vibramaha. When the Samohana comes, and the awareness is disturbed. Smriti Vibramaha. Loss of memory. That's what happened in Krodha. See, people were, even I entered, we conducted so many yoga programs in jail also. When you go and interview them, they say, I don't know. Very small, small things. For a second, we lose the awarenesses. This crime happened, taught life there inside the jail. Loss of memory, Krishna says very beautifully. Smriti Vibramaha. Smriti Bhamshat Buddhinashi. When Smriti goes, our intelligence power goes. Discrimination is completely lost. Buddhi nashat vinashati. Buddhi is lost. We are in the ebb of downward. Totally we are downward. That's the difference between man and animal. Buddhi is there. God has given us a great gift is Buddhi. So that's why stress starts at the mental level. Finally it makes you turn an animal being. Not a human being. So that's why it is the, in this way we are, we are attacked by the diseases according to Bhagavad Gita. Repeated thinking leads to desire, desire to infatuation, karma, karma to krodha, krodha to loss of memory, loss of memory to loss of buddhi and total destruction of the personality. So, what happened for us? Stress. We say adi, adi, adi. It's a very important question. People ask, when, when Shantivana, when we treat the different diseases, Sir, are you suffering from stress? Ah, it's not, because we are not aware. We are stressed up. We are stressed up. Persistent stimulation. Persistent stimulation. One stimulation stress is good. Prepare us for fight or flight. Suddenly one cobra comes, we have to either face or we have to run away. Or a tiger comes. It's okay. But persistent stimulation. How that stimulation is? Outside. Office. When you go office, lot of disturbances. Family. Internally. Both. See, it is not only external will causes the diseases. Even internally. I want to become like this, but I didn't become like that. What I want, my ambition never fulfilled. My target I never reached. So, internal stress and external stress. So, that's, that leads us to stimulation. That's what Krishna says. Adi, or repeated thinking. Similarly, Bhagavad Gita uh, says about it. Patanjali says it is Kleshas. Whereas, Yoga Vasistha says it is Adi. So, we, we were, here we are trying to sell, tell about this. The uh, stress never caused at one slot or a one uh, shot we say. One time stress is not bad. But repeated stress or agitation in the mind completely. How about our brain? How about our heart? How about our internal organs? Everything is disturbed. So that's why it is not one stress causes the diseases. Repeated persistent stimulation. So today we were uh, we were discussing about how an adi, adi jaha. Next is anadi jaha. See, adi is cause. That's what we are discussing. But it's anadi jaha. It is never connected with adis. But still, our immune system is responsible. Our environmental stress is re responsible. For example, what happens today? Last six months to eight months, we were in uh, now even you can say nine months. Environmental stress is there. We cannot go anywhere. Everywhere there is a restriction. Everywhere there is no... We cannot go freely to any, any person. We cannot meet any person very freely. Human being is a human being. Human being needs an association. That, this, this type of stresses lead us to lot of problems. And that leads to diseases we studied today. We are uh, understanding my dear students. Stress is not one time causing the diseases. Persistent stimulation. Either in the outside or inside, outside means office, family, other things, whereas in, in our workplaces, internally we have a lot of ambition. I want to become a doctor, but I didn't become a doctor. I become an ordinary clerk. Then I have got a lot of itchings in my mind. That also creates the stress. I want to become something, scientist, but I never become like that. But boss has given us by today evening you have to finish this target, but I am not able to fulfill it because that leads us to stress. And in the further classes, we will study about and the further discussions on uh, further slides on how stress, what is the concept of stress in yoga. Thank you.